Okay, guys. You are going to have a chance to win this. And in this video, I will tell you exactly how. Let's go over it real quick. Because it's been a minute. This set right here. Gear wrench. 84 tooth. It's pretty. It's fine. It's pretty fine. I think that is a... Uh... Hey, YouTubers. What's going on, everybody? This is my submission for the Hard Knock <clears throat> Hard Knocks Ford giveaway. This is not for a competition for the tools. It's merely for the motivation that he provided me to go ahead and get up off my ass and make myself a toolbox tour. Thanks, HKF. <clears throat> All right. What I have is the Harbor Freight. 44 inch toolbox set with both side cabinets and the locker style and what was once the seven drawer cabinet I've reconfigured as you can see up top we have the underhood light from Harbor Freight I think I own just about everything that Harbor Freight has to offer in LED lights so I got the little uh, pivot one in the middle. I've got another one there. Not too bad. I like those. Uh, stickers. These is um, a couple, a uh, few YouTubers that I've subscribed to that I've gotten stickers from. Um, I am stricken. I've got his. Uh, he sent me his just for being a follower. As did Big Dog. Big Dog 50001. Go out and check out his uh, channel. He's uh, out in Arizona, but he does a lot of good good things with, you know, w with cars. He knows his way around cars. Snap-on Junkie, of course. Uh, starting to get up my sticker game with uh, tool brands and whatnot. Miller, of course. I'm a homer. I got to say that. I'm a homer. Okay. Starting out, that cobalt sticker back there, uh, that was the first kit that I had bought before or, or after I had bought this set, and I stuck it, stuck it straight on in the metal. Now, uh, thanks to John Gibson, you know, who advised me, you know, hey, uh, put them on uh, magnetic sheets and whatnot, you know, and cut them out and make, make magnets out of them. Uh, that was a great idea, and Jeff Kennedy, he just made a... A recent video concerning that you know making magnets out of your stickers so they're not permanent um, that was the first thing I fixed to the box with some Gorilla Glue that expanded on me so it's all oozing so I got to Google on that ASAP all right starting up top I have a couple of pairs of bolt cutters up there small ones uh, one's from, one's a Pittsburgh from Harbor Freight. The other one, I can't remember where the hell that's from. Underneath that is a inner tie rod tool from Harbor Freight. If you buy that one, make sure that those crow's feet, you know, mesh into the doggone tool handle itself so that it can lock, you know, otherwise you'll be taking it back like I did. I have a uh, quarter inch three-eighths and half-inch Pittsburgh torque wrenches. Uh, one of which I think I paid full price. I think I paid full price for the three-quarter, I mean the three-eighths. The quarter-inch and the half-inch, you know, I got for like eleven ninety-nine when they were on sale. I uh, have a couple of wrecking bars up top or crow wires. That old screwdriver right there, I think that's a Crescent brand. I broke the tip on it, so it's relegated to just prying stuff, you know, not dealing with screw tips. This is the Craftsman three-piece pry bar set with the striking caps. 
Uh, I missed out on the Christmas sale when they first went on sale, but I did happen to catch them on Memorial Day or whatever holiday. It wasn't the 4th of July, but I did catch them on sale. And I paid 20 bucks for those. Nineteen ninety-nine. Uh, the other ones are all Pittsburgh. That is a small handheld Pittsburgh blowgun. I, uh, that is a long handle Pittsburgh three gun, uh, or blow gun, excuse me. And this is the 25 inch breaker bar, half inch drive with the uh, comfort grip handle. And I caught that one on sale as well. So those are the contents at the top of the box. Uh, on top of the side cabinet, the locker style, just a little Wisconsin Badger uh, speaker, some T-handles, T-handle, uh, yeah, T-handle Allen wrenches from Harbor Freight. Everybody's got that set. Spotlight from Harbor Freight. Again, I think I own everything, every LED light that Harbor Freight owns. Uh, my favorite domestic beverage of choice that liquid gold that is called MGD in uh, there is some hearing protection a couple of pins and some plexiglass pieces up underneath there bottle openers foreign domestic and homebrew I do not own a bike <laughs> I have the endorsement, but I do not own a bike myself. Um, on the side there, I have my glove uh, glove and tissue holder. <laughs> That's why it's so big. I, I remember seeing a lot of videos, you know, about people bitching about that. You know, ah, the gloves don't fit, blah, blah, blah. But it's designed to hold tissues also. You know, so perhaps a big-ass box of Kleenex would you know, fit in there perfectly. Another set of paper towels. Uh, some military emblems. Uh, some of you uh, recognize that as my old avatar. Uh, a wrench. Wrench holder from Torin. I like that. But I didn't have the room for it, you know, with the shallow depth of my drawers. This was my first box. This was what I started out with, just a Craftsman little five drawer top and two drawer bottom with that enclosure. Underneath there I have uh, my battery chargers and a, and a few items. Uh, this will be some future content. Here in the locker, those are just uh, the handles for the toolbox itself. And that little can is from a wallet that I bought. Yeah, I have my old wallet staged in there. Uh, over here are compression gauges. The gray box, it was, you know, my original purchase from Harbor Freight back in 1999. And this is an up-to-date set, you know, purchased uh, last year. That's a bearing installer and puller set. Uh, fuel gauge, fuel pressure gauge set, uh, bearing, large bearing separator down there, and this is just some foam padding so that if I decided to switch this locker from the right side to the left side, then I could take that and replicate this, you know, put the padding up top, you know, so it doesn't, you know, as a bump guard. Uh, as you can see, it takes uh, a series of magnets, you know, to hold that sucker into place. Uh, a couple of microfibers, you know, that I've had in there. Uh, another light. This is from the Miller Brewery gift shop. I went there looking for that MGD Harley Davidson plate that Justin Dow has. I can't find that thing anywhere, and I was hoping that they had it. You know, I really like that plate, and man, I would like one, you know, to put on my dog on toolbox. All right, inside is where I keep all my 
boxes, all the blue molded cases. So there I have the ball joint set from uh, Pittsburgh, the brake caliper set from Pittsburgh, uh, envelopes from Mills, <laughs> gay sex toys inside. That's from I'm uh, I'm stricken zero six. <laughs> He was the first YouTuber to ever send me some, some stickers, you know, promoting his channel way back when. Uh, in the top drawer, we have some hearing protection, earmuffs. I have a timing light, uh, grease gun, heat gun from Pittsburgh, and a bearing packer. That's also from Pittsburgh. Above that are the vacuum vacuum pumps. One brass, one plastic, you know, the Mighty Vac style. A couple of syringes and the cups from uh, for them to accommodate them. Got the rags in there, you know, to prevent the uh, brake fluid from leaking out and screwing up the box. Uh, these bulbs are actually from uh, blood pressure cuffs, you know, but, you know, they were cast aside and whatnot. One man's trash is another man's treasure. I figured I could put them to use to do something, something, you know, to draw a vacuum or something, you know. I'll figure something out with them. Okay. The side cart. I have my Milwaukee Chargers. The one on the left is the M18 and M12, and the one on the right is strictly M12. On top of that is just a waterproof Bluetooth speaker that also has a battery in it to charge your, your smartphone. Uh, outlet strip from the back. This is the HDX light. Real two reviews just did uh, a review of three lights. One was uh, the Astro Nomadic. One was this one, the HDX, and the other was a Baco. This was only twenty bucks, so I opted for this. Although I like the Astro Nomadic, really bright. Uh, another phone. This is uh, some stickers that I had solicited from uh, the tool manufacturers and tires and whatnot, you know, because I wanted to have something to a fix to the box. But uh, anything you buy, you know, doesn't necessarily come with, you know, stickers or anything like that, you know. So I emailed various corporations or whatnot or manufacturers and... Uh, they're slowly trickling in. Got these from SunX Tool. These are die cut, you know. So these are the magnetic sheets that I affixed them to. That is uh, before. This is a sheet that I spray painted red to match the box somewhat and affixed the vinyl to those, you know. So that is the result. Uh, let's see. Magnetic trays. I've got a bunch of those. Those remotes are to my television, which is analog. I got a 36 inch tube, cathode ray tube, <laughs> cathode tube ray TV, you know. So there, it's relegated to the garage. So I've got to have the uh, digital analyzer and whatnot, you know, to receive any over the air channels and that type of thing. So I got that out of here. Uh, other Bluetooth speakers. I bought those on clearance. This one I got from Walmart. All of these I got from Walmart. I got that one for five bucks. This one was seven bucks. And this one was 15 bucks. And I affixed magnets to them to, you know, stick them to the, uh, stick them to the toolbox. Let's see. All right. <clears throat> that Goodyear sticker just came today. In fact, 
All right. Top drawer. I've got this the cutting drawer. Hobby knives, scissors, cutters, knives, utility knives, uh, pencils, carton cutters, that type of thing. So that's all in here. Got the Milwaukee flip flip back. I also have this knife, which is sold at Harbor Freight. This one is a Smith & Wesson, which is uh, sold at AutoZone. This is the exact same knife that's sold at Harbor Freight, you know, under whatever, whatever name they have it. I can't remember now. But Harbor Freight doesn't manufacture anything. They're, they're a tool distributor. They're not a manufacturer. Anything you can find at Harbor Freight, you can find uh, somewhere else, you know, a similar product or the exact same product you know, under a different brand name. Next box down is inspection and and repair, I would say, you know. Got a pair of helping hands back there, magnifying glass, mirrors, uh, lighted inspection mirror. This long sucker on the side is a light. It's an LED flashlight. The Harbor Freight Freebies of course uh, this light here I bought this light <laughs> at a bazaar in Afghanistan way back when still works still have it this one is issued you know to anyone going in the theater was issued so this one was for light discipline and whatnot you know blue light uh, almost looks like a, a, a UV light but I think I'm going to donate that one to the to the VA, you know, to put on display for uh, the Afghanistan tour, you know, the Afghanistan war. They don't have anything in there, you know. It's it's all stuff from from Iraq. I have a caliper, manual caliper, plastic, and a steel rule. Uh, this one, RTV. Brake lubricant, grease, super lube for the ratchets, thread locker, WD-40 pin, a lighter. Got some JB Well back there, that type of thing. Next we have panel poppers. Plastic and metal, you know. These are both Pittsburgh from Harbor Freight. A uh, set of power grips you know strap wrenches oil filter wrenches and that one on the bottom that damn fram yeah yeah no don't do it <laughs> that'll be in an upcoming video as well uh, next drawer rivet gun rivets uh, that wire stripper th that mimics the Irwin. This is an old frills, you know, version of that Irwin stripper, uh, wire stripper, automatic wire stripper that everybody else makes too. You know, there's a ton, ton of brands of them out there. And, uh, I happened to come across this one. So I bought that one. I will eventually upgrade it, but you know, that is, uh, not way up on the priority list. Since I have this one, I'll get around to it at some point. Again, the generic old regular wire strippers, you know, that comes with all kinds of kits with butt splices and connectors. Um, a coax cable wire stripper. That thing actually works. It works really well. I've used that in the house. And, uh, yeah, I like that. That's pretty good. This Greenlee is a wire crimper. I used to use that at, uh, when I worked at Generac. Um, bought that out of the uh, tool shop there to crimp the wires, you know, in our panels and, and all that good stuff, you know. But uh, I've noticed now they make a lot of these, a lot of manufacturers make these with like three different dies, you know, for crimping and, and whatnot, you know. So it's not just a basic set like this. Now it's a little bit more, you know, a little bit more advanced, you know, a, lot, a little few more accessories to them. 
And that's just a little basic wire stripper, you know. Same thing for a cable. Next we have, uh, I guess you'd call it a junk drawer. Here I have all stickers that I've been receiving. Uh, pins, reflectors, white out, a uh, few badges and whatnot, you know, from from different vehicles and whatnot. Not a whole lot. Got a little set of brushes in there from, for a angle grinder or something from Chicago Electric. Here we have uh, brushes, wire brushes, paint brushes, anything to do with cleaning or scouring, you know, dealing with the surface. Just brushes there. Here is household stuff. I've got a multimeter in there that's a wire or, or sugar breaker tracer. Uh, a dual volt, uh, voltage detector. A couple of pieces of Velcro. Those are uh, bungee cord uh, snaps or whatever. And underneath I have uh, all the DC attachments for the Harbor Freight lights that I have. So if I'm on the road or if I'm on the go, you know, I can keep them charged up, you know, through the battery in the car. Finally, we have rotary tools. Uh, this one on the right is a, a uh, tool shop brand from Menards. The tan one, tan and black one, is from Sam's Club. And that one came with all of these accessories that you see here. Came with the bar to hang it from, from a station that is like a little vise to connect to the bar. Uh, the accessory kit right there. Um, this rusty bag here, that, that's from, I think that came with the tool shop stuff. And in the back there is a flexible flexible line, flexible shaft for the rotary tools. So, pretty good. I've used it. I've used them several times. I've uh, did a lot of cutting and whatnot, you know, with them. And they work pretty well, you know. On the side, I have uh, a series of funnels. Um, those are not the spill-free funnels, of course, but just some larger funnels, you know, high-capacity I've got uh, propane and map gas. I've got the little holders. Uh, I've attached them to my box using uh, some of those Harbor Freight magnets. And then uh, also some of these little rare earth magnets right here. Now the silver ones. The silver ones you buy from Harbor Freight. And those black ones I got from work, and those black ones are like, you know, five times as strong. Those things are the truth. Um, there's another better the Bluetooth speaker, you know, affixed by magnets. So, I wish I'd had the black ones then, you know, because so I had it up, up top further, you know, and it would just slide down from the weight, but those black ones would really hold it. Uh... Two magnetic bars right here from Harbor Freight. And this is a 15, uh, 15 millimeter socket that has been stuck on that uh, stabilizer bar, you know, for like five years. I need me a vice, man, so I can get the damn thing off. I've been since replaced it, but, you know, I keep it there, you know, just as a, as a reminder, as a lesson learned. Uh, okay, here we go. What goes in here is, right here, I have uh, the Syntec inspection camera. It is just a basic one. It's not, you know, it's not the top of the line or anything like that, but it, it does what I needed to do. And I actually used it to uh, troubleshoot some leaks in my hydronic heating in the house. You know, so I... Poke the hole in the wall to see uh, where I was getting leaks at, you know, from the pipes that lead to the radiator. 
or leave two radiators. Um, Pittsburgh impact set, you know, to go set. That's my boneyard set, you know. I use it sometimes, you know, in the driveway and whatnot, you know. But if I got to go to the junkyard, I'll take some deeps from up here. But I'll take this shallow set with me, you know, because it's nice in a case and portable, easy, easy to go. Next we have uh, the to-go set, you know, when I'm on the road. This one, or this one, this is a cobalt set. I bought that down in Fort Bliss when I was working on a project card and didn't have any tools. But about this also, uh, the Harper, uh, Pittsburgh set, I can't remember how many pieces, but quarter, half inch, three-eighths, you know, a couple of e torques It's pretty good. Thumb wheels on the, on the ratchet. Coarse thread, you know, it must be like 36, 36 tooth. But uh, it's not a bad set. Not a bad set. Spark plug wrench, a couple of extensions. Yeah. And uh, you'll notice that they're color coded. Something I picked up from John Gibson, you know, who'd color code all of his, uh, all of his, his tools as he got them. You know, red and blue. Speaking of which, what is up with Duralast? Why do they have it backwards, man? You know, why does Duralast, you know, have metric in red and standard in blue? Uh, wheel puller set. That is my latest and greatest. This is a bearing and race set, driver set. Here. Let me turn this damn thing off. Pittsburgh, of course. And this was my original uh, wheel puller set but the, everything came in little plastic cases and whatnot like this you know so as pieces went astray and nuts and bolts and whatnot you know we get around you know I just threw them in a duck on box and uh, consolidated them uh, let's see Okay, the cobalt set. That's the to-go set. All right, now the money drawer. Okay, this side is standard. Everything in the back is standard. Uh, mainly, well, my Craftsman tools. I originally had Craftsman tools, and I came back and you know. Just so many of them were just all rusted out and beyond repair or anything like that, you know, it was just ridiculous. So I had to start over. You know, I just rebuilt my set, you know. So these are half inch craftsmen, these are Pittsburgh six point, these are also Pittsburgh that colored set, you know. I waited, man, I, I must have waited in you know, like six doggone weeks for them to get a chrome set in before I finally gave up. You know, and bought those and these as well, you know, in color. And then as soon as I bought them, then, you know, they got doggone straight chrome sets. Ah, oh, man, I was pissed off. Uh, this is an interesting socket. I'm sure I have some more of them. I've got a bucket of sockets, you know, that went by the wayside, but everything that was all rusted out like that. And uh, it's got a hex drive. I've been, I've looked it up. You know, what tools or what tool companies, you know, made tools with a hex drive like that. And there was a company called Bog out of Chicago that made some tools like that. That has no markings on it or anything like that. It is a 17 millimeter and it's USA made, you know. So, no, it was fairly recent, you know. But, uh, yeah, I've got to have some more of those around here somewhere. Okay, six point shallows, 12 point shallows in standard. This is an SK, uh, SK, what is this? Half inch shallow swivel socket. It ran away from home somewhere and found a home in my box. I don't know how I came across this thing. 
I do not know. I didn't get it at a yard sale. I didn't buy it at a pawn shop or anything like that. I don't know what the hell. I don't know where that thing came from. But I have it, and I'm good with it. Uh, this is five-piece shallow impact sockets that came with uh, a tool shop impact wrench, half-inch impact wrench lithium ion that I bought. So it came as a kit. Uh, Milwaukee 16-foot uh, tape measure. Pittsburgh 3 8 uh, deep wells. Uh, these are Craftsman Evolves. Um, yeah, these are Craftsman Evolves. Right here, this, these shallows. Um, O2 sensor socket, O2 sensor socket. These are Master Force. All of these, deep and shallow. And they don't make them in metric. All they make them in is standard and whatnot. You know. So, what are they? Five sixteenths. Five sixteenths through nine sixteenths. Yep, five sixteenths to nine sixteenths. In deep and shallow. Quarter inch twelve point standard. These are all, um, I bought, the darker ones are Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh hit hex and Torx. And the lighter one is a Husky bit. It's like a 49-piece set or something like that that I bought. You know, caught it on a humbug. Like, oh, snap. You know, they got the Torx and, and the whole nine. But those are chrome vanadium. The Pittsburgh are S2. The Huskies are chrome vanadium. And the Pittsburghs are S2. Tools that you regret. These are great necks from Advanced Auto from way back when. When I had a doggone uh, Chrysler minivans that had some, some Torx fittings on them. And these things just twisted up. Man, they're so soft. Uh, these are Duralast. Uh, swivel sockets, metric, Duralast shallow chrome sockets, uh, 12 point, six. this one is an 18, <laughs> an 18 millimeter, an extra 18 millimeter that I had to purchase, uh, these are 12 point, these are bench tops, these 12 point, uh, half inch 12 points, these are bench top can't remember where I got them from, whether it was Builder Square or wherever the hell. Whoever sold bench top at the time that I bought them, that's where I got them. And these are Craftsman. Uh, these are Pittsburgh, 3 eighths deep. Uh, 